Just outside Boston, life's been getting a little more challenging for a group trying to go about its everyday business. And by just outside, we mean the Boston Harbor, where, believe it or not, it's just getting too loud underwater for some of the creatures who live there. When this is the primary way a group communicates, then this is the sound of trouble. According to a recent study, that's exactly what's happening with the whale population off the Northeast Atlantic coast. I think we're trying to understand what kind of a crisis this is. Leela Hatch is co-author of a government study of underwater noise in the shipping lanes of the Boston Harbor. Increased traffic there is causing whales, specifically the right whale, to lose their ability to chat with each other. These animals have lost over 60% and upwards of 70% under some measures of the space that they used to have to communicate with one another. Researchers submerged acoustic recorders to track the sounds from ships and whales. The spike in noise they detected disrupts the whale's basic functioning, says the study's co-author, Christopher Clark. When the noise level goes up, it's harder to hear where the weather systems are, where the food might be, where my buddies might be, where the mating parties are. Fourteen years ago, nearly 350 cruise ships and cargo vessels used the port of Boston. According to the latest statistics, that number is now more than 420. The noise from increased shipping disorients the whale's population, sometimes with devastating results. When a ship hits a whale, the whale's dead. Collisions have increased along the East Coast and in some cases are responsible for many, many deaths and a high percentage of the population is being killed from ship strikes. There are roughly 350 right whales left in the world after they were hunted to near extinction in the 1700s. There are ongoing efforts to move shipping lanes away from Boston and require vessels to go slower near feeding whales. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, New York.